guys, this is Mary. You're watching Cards TV, and today we're going to make a card using this adorable little bee from Miss Kate's Cuttables. This one's called Happy Bee, and I'll have a link for you under this video on YouTube as well as on my blog, so you can go by and pick up this cute little Happy Bee for yourself. We'll also be using some papers from this Die Cuts with a View dot 6x6 paper stack. I love this. Cute, cute papers in here. For our sentiment, we're going to use the Cards TV Going Buggy Stamp Set. And we're going to use Hello Honey and Just Buzzing By to Say Hi. We're also going to use this Cuddle Bug Honeycomb Embossing Folder. And I've got some ovals that I've cut out. This is from the Silhouette Studio Store. I've cut a black oval and a white oval, and these are from Lori Whitlock. And the number for these in the Silhouette Studio Store is 4508. And I'll give you the measurements on these and the B and everything for the card at the end of the video. So let's get started. We'll start with a white card base, and this has been folded to four and a quarter by five and a half. And we're going to layer some black cardstock and some pattern cardstock on here. We've got some black cardstock, which I've cut to four and an eighth by five and three eighths. That's going to go right there. Then we've got this cute yellow and white polka dot mat, and this is four inches by five and a quarter. And I'm going to use my ATG gun to get these layers adhered to the front of the card. Next, we have another black mat and another patterned mat. And this black mat was cut at 3 and 5 eighths by 4 and 7 eighths. That's going to go right there. And this really cute blue and polka dot mat was cut at 3 and a half by 4 and 3 quarters. And once again, I'll take my ATG gun and get these layered onto the front of the card. I love the yellow, the blue, the white, and the black together. And you can see I drew the colors for my patterns and solids from the colors in this cute little bee. Now we're going to add a border across the center of our card. And I've cut a little piece of black for my background border. And this is 1 and 3 eighths by 3 and a half. And I have another piece of the yellow and white polka dot, and this was cut at an inch and a quarter by three and a half. I'm going to layer these two together and then add them to the center of the card right there. Now we have our card base all ready. I think that's really cute, and it has kind of a whimsical look, like the little bee. We're going to set this aside, and we're going to adhere our two ovals together. And as you can see, I've already run the white oval through this Cuddlebug honeycomb folder, and I love the way that turned out. Now, I cut the black oval just a little bit larger than the white oval, and I'll have all the measurements at the end of the video. And I'm just going to go ahead and use my ATG gun to adhere this white oval to the black oval. Now, we're going to set our ovals aside and bring our card back over. And I probably should have already stamped this blue mat before I put it together, but I think this will work out okay. Now, I've already taken the Hello Honey from the Going Buggy set, and I've got it on my Fiskars stamp press, and we'll be using some Memento Tuxedo Black Ink, and we're going to stamp Hello Honey right down here. So I'll get this inked up, and after I get this stamped, then we're going to add the bead to our oval, and we're going to get that popped up on some foam tape and add that to the front of the card. Now I want to make sure I get this lined up just perfectly down here in this corner. Right there. There we go. Perfect. 
I think that's a really cute sentiment for this card. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the bead to the oval before I put the foam squares on the back and for that I'm going to use my uh, two-way glue pen because this little black part down here that shows that he's flying around is very delicate and it'll take something like this to get it adhered to this oval. So I'll go ahead and get this attached to the oval and we'll get that on the front. I've got my little bee attached to the front and I've got my foam squares on the back and I'm going to go ahead and get this centered right here on the front of the card. That is so cute. And I think to balance it out, I'm going to add a couple of these enamel dot stickers, the black ones. Just a couple right up here in the corner. These are from Recollections. My good friend Nicole sent me these, and I love them. I have to resist putting these on everything. <laughs> but I really, really do like them a lot. Let's move that up just a little bit. There we go. And this just gives a little balance to the front. There we go. Now we're going to work on the inside of the card. Now on the inside of the card, I've already attached a small piece of black and a piece of the blue and white polka dot down near the bottom. And I've got a small piece of of the yellow and white polka dot. I've already put some adhesive on here and I'm attaching that. And I have two more ovals that I cut out. And we're going to stamp this white oval and once again we'll use Memento Tuxedo Black Ink and this time we're going to stamp Just Buzzing By to Say Hi. And I've already got that on my stamp press. So I'm going to go ahead and get that inked up. I want to make sure I get this straight. That looks about right. Perfect. Now I'm going to adhere these together and then layer this right here on the inside of the card. Here's our finished card and I think it turned out super cute. I just love that little bee from Miss Kate Cuttables. And here's the inside. Hello honey just buzzing by to say hi. Now you could use this for thinking of you or friendship card. You could use it for a thank you card, a get well card. You could even use it for a Valentine's card. Just write happy Valentine's Day and you've got plenty of room to write an additional sentiment in your name. Thank you so much for coming by today guys and I will see you again soon with another card. Bye now.